Hey everyone, happy Friday, it's Lisa. <laughs> Merry Christmas, today is the first day of December. And for some reason, today I feel happy and Christmassy. I don't know, I think I've kinda got a few things lined up that I'm, I'm gonna decorate my tree tomorrow. And the house is kind of coming together. I was telling someone yesterday, you know how like when you're cleaning your house and you're, say you're doing a, a big cleaning, and you're spending all day and it just looks terrible you know all day long but in that last 30 to 45 minutes it just all comes together that's how i think it's going to be because it's like um i don't know what i really can't see what you can see yet but probably nothing that you see will probably stay where it is uh, maybe a few things but i'm just waiting on some things and I'm also, I was gonna, I was thinking this morning, one of the best things I've done more than buy anything is get rid of so much stuff. If you want to redecorate on a budget, just get rid of almost, I mean, just get rid of everything that you are not thrilled with. And in your mind, be thinking, I'll get something else to replace that. But what you'll find is you like it without anything. That's what I have found with so many things. Um, like for instance, when we got our new stove, I used to have a teapot, a kettle, a candle, a this, a that, sitting all over my stove and they didn't match anymore. So I kind of got rid of them or put them up. And now I just love the way it looks with nothing but the one candle. And same thing with my tub, you'll see, when I do um, like my home decorating videos. Now today, I'm not gonna focus on anything that you see in the back. I'm not even gonna explain anything. If, any, if I watch this video and I see something showing, I will link it down below. But um, I'm probably gonna start those next week because I'm waiting for, um, I'm waiting for my light fixture for over my uh, kitchen table. Um, the biggest thing is my closet and my upstairs closet room are getting done December 11th. So, as you can imagine, I've got all kinds of stuff out here, Christmas stuff sitting right here, and then I've got my shoes and a bunch of stuff sitting here. And I haven't really gone through everything. I'm gonna see what fits in my closet nicely and then start weeding stuff you know, out. So, um, I'm not quite ready to do that but it will be soon, very soon. Um, so, I did get some stuff this week. So, I'm gonna just dive right in. I've got a pair of boots that I am just excited about, and then I've had been sent a lot of stuff this week, and I wanna go ahead and show you because they might be good gifts or might be something you want with your holiday money or something like that. Okay, this is the first one, and um, Galit, it's G-A-L-I-T, and I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. She is very sweet, and she's so thoughtful and thinks of me so much, and I appreciate it so much. She sent me the coolest press package, and it is their new Luminous Face Powders. And they are, oh gosh, so she's saying you can use them as a foundation or as a powder for airbrush finished. Her face powders are amazing. From the very beginning, I have loved her highlighters her um, and her bronzers. Just wonderful, probably my favorite product. I know her store products are the liquid matte lips, but with my lips being older and liney, I'm not as good with those, but to me, the powders are the thing. And it says, take a gamble with a new powder. We know you'll love it. And look at this package. So she sent me all the powders. She sent me a deck of cards with my face on there. And the package had some like poker chips and stuff in it. I just thought that was so cool. I love it. I love how creative they're getting. That would be a really fun job to do that, to come up with different things for different co collections. So today I have used the medium. And what I did, where I put it right here? What I did is I used it, let me zoom you in. Ah, I used it instead of my Laura Mercier Classic Beige. And so what I did is I used my favorite foundation and primer, which is the YSL All Hours. 
and then I take that big fluffy brush that I love from Smashbox and I went over my face with this and I think it's beautiful. Now I also used like the MAC, um, that MSF I've been loving so much that is it gilded? It's real golden and bronzy color, and that's what you probably see too. But this is all over my face, and it is just beautiful. I mean, I think it's just, as you can see, it's just a really good contour also. So I really think if you were in the market for a face powder, you may love that. And here is the deep, and I meant to bronze and um, kind of contour with that and I forgot and grabbed my hula out of habit but I will do this next time. I've had everything kind of sitting out here so I wouldn't forget it but um, I really do, I know that I love her face powders. So I will put her link and I think in some fancy um, Walgreens or is it, no, I think it's some fancy Rite Aids. It's a new, some, I think over on the West Coast, there's some fancier um, Rite Aids that carry Gerlactic. Um, I will find out and put it with the um, link down below since I'm so slack. Um, but I just thought that was the cutest thing. Ugh. I hate that my kids don't play games like that. My brother and I, we played War, Go Fish, um, is it rummy gin rummy when we stayed at the beach you know we would play cards with all the other kids that were staying down there when we stayed too you know our little friends that we would make down at the beach we would play and with my grandmother with my mom i mean we played cards all the time and then i used to love to play solitaire and i can remember when my kids were small and I was cooking. I know you guys don't believe I used to cook, but I did. When my kids were small and I was home all day, you know you know the routine where you take them to school in the morning, then you go to the grocery store, you come home and you start cooking or you start planning and you cut stuff up and you get stuff going. Well, that was how it was. And a lot of times I would play solitaire on my computer while I was cooking because I had to sit right there by the stove. And um, those are some good memories with the cartoons like Arthur and Clifford, all those cartoons that used to come on in the afternoons. I, I miss those days. So anyway, I don't know, where did I come up with that from? I don't even know, anyway. Okay, so the next thing I got is from Kevin Aquan, and this is Dramatize, those eyes like a pro with the Electropop Pro eyeshadow palette. And I got this a week ago, so before last Friday, but it wasn't available until 11.27 and um, till today at Sephora. And it is, um, Electropop allows you to create endless 3D chromatic eye looks and ed editorial effects from light sheer shimmer to high metallic opaque finish. With one swipe payoff, the smooth texture glides on effortlessly. We have been loving this palette. It is a fun palette. Now today I have on, um, I've got on that one on the inner corner. I've got a little bit of this one on the lid to start off with, and then I ended up taking, I believe, this one. No, this one right here, and putting it all over my lids. And I didn't do it today, but I have been loving taking my Louise Young brush and dipping the very corner of it in that black. And just, you know, blackening up that outer edge and almost going kind of over the wing of my eyeshadow, and it is so pretty. This is really pretty. Now, I haven't tried the like bright, the uh, red and all those colors, but like this color and that color, they're just gorgeous. Let me swatch. Here, I'll swatch this purple. They're real buttery feeling. See how pretty they are? And since I've got to wash my hands anyway, I will, look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that top one. They almost give you that payoff like a pigment, but they're pressed and they're not um, real flaky. See how they, they came right off my fingers? Just really, really nice. So if you think you might be in the market for something like that for maybe Christmas parties and New Year's Eve or just like me on an any day basis, this is a really good okay. game. Then I just got this yesterday and I'll be honest with you, I wanted to wear one of these today, but I just did not have the nerve because I haven't, <clears throat> haven't worn them yet, and 
I haven't even swatched them. I thought I would save them and swatch them with you guys. And it's from Givenchy, and it's their new Le Rouge Sculpt. Givenchy's first two-tone lipstick offers color and contour in a single stick. I think these are neat. Um, it, volume enhancing effect perfectly shapes the smile. This is a must have in five color combinations, each featuring a vibrant inset shade highlighted by its own structuring shadow. Uh, <clears throat> so, I won't read the whole thing. Creamy texture, comfortable semi matte finish, um, maximum coverage, beeswax, hyaluronic acid, microspheres to build volume and moisturize lips. But. So that is what it is, and they sent me, and they sent me this with it. Will will love that. And um, gosh, their packaging is amazing. So this is the first one. I believe it's like a plum. No, Sculpt O2 Sculpting Violin. So it's that violet color. This is the one I was tempted to wear today. So we are going to, let's swatch it. Um, ooh. Oh my goodness, so I'm doing kind of like a top lip. That is amazing. That is so beautiful. Okay, I'm tempted to try that, but I've already got all this on. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'll definitely be wearing that. Um, that is a lot, I don't know, it's a lot prettier than I thought it would be, a lot more wearable. I thought it was gonna be darker. Okay, and the other one is Crimson, I believe. Nope, Sculpting Rouge. I knew it was something having to do with red. And, oh my goodness, look at that sucker. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. Okay, let me do it again to make sure I press down. That is so neat. So see how the top of that is not as dark. It's more of like a shadow to go with that red. Let me read this again and make sure I didn't miss something about, um, okay, in shade one, the contour shade has been enriched with a mysterious black made with eosin to bring out the inset. Boosted by this color enhancer, it naturally lightens up, producing a unique, customized color. These limited edition lipsticks offer creamy texture. That is so neat. Okay, so yes, that one is made just to bring out that color. That is amazing. Okay, just be watching. Along with my Twitter, I'm not the greatest Instagrammer either, but I'm a little bit better than Twitter. So I will wear these soon. So follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link down below. And they are amazing. I think that is such a cool idea. Okay, so I brought some of my MAC wipes out here. So I wouldn't have to stop every time I had to do this. So thank you so much to Javanshi for sending that to me. I love it. And I don't have anywhere near here that sells this. And the packaging is like I said, amazing. Okay, then my friend Denise, <laughs> I put her Instagram down below. Usually every time I mention her because I want you guys to follow her, she sent me a gift this week and the card said Merry Christmas and I have got some stuff to send her today. But um, she sent me one of her favorite things and she has told me about this before and I never could take the plunge because I just thought, I don't know, I guess if I could have gone and gotten it and smelled it myself, I might, I mean, I would have done it. But it came in the most beautiful packaging. It is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is so many people's favorite fragrance and I can see why. Here it is, I've worn it yesterday and today. It is a beach fragrance, but in a, a different way. It's, real smooth smelling, soft. Um, it is just beautiful, just beautiful. I've already put it on when I was getting ready this morning. I came out here and put some on before I even got dressed because it just makes me feel so, it gives me that same feeling that the lipstick on fragrance gives me. That um, I know people don't like when I say the words, you know, it makes me feel kind of like sexy and um, like really happy to be a woman. You know what I mean? Just that good feeling of feeling pretty. That's what it makes me feel like. And um, I love it. 
I told her this is one of my one of my new favorites for sure. And um, it's not quite as strong smelling as some of my other like tobacco vanilla and all some of those other fragrances. I really love it. So I've told her thank you, and um, she's she's the best. Okay, then let's see. Um, French candy. Um, you guys know I love their jewelry and I just don't wear it enough, but now I think I am gonna wear it more because I have organized my jewelry. You'll see when I show you my bedroom. And um, I gave a lot of it away that I really did still like, but that it's just impossible for me to wear it all. And so now the pieces that I really do love are showcased out and I think I'll wear them more. And this is one of the pieces and I just love the two guns right here. It just adds like a little bit of, I don't know, funkiness to it. And um, all of their jewelry is based on like French themes and like the Fleur de Lis and you know different things like that. It's just beautiful. It is one of a kind. One of my subscribers told me about it and I have loved it ever since. And they were kind enough to send me something new. They sent me this ring which I believe is the Fleur de Lis. It's from the Fleur de Lis collection and it is amazing. It reminds me of my Bottega ring. It's just gorgeous with Swarovski crystals and it just fits perfectly and then here is the bracelet to match and I love it and it did adjust down to fit me. Look how beautiful that is. I love it and I think I forgot to put on my studs. I wanted to go put my studs on that I have like that and I have forgotten but um, just made so nice. It has like the French candy on the inside and I know during Cyber Monday, they were having a special where they always have these great specials where if you order something, they include some other little something. So I will put their link down below and thank you to them so much for sending this to me. I love it. And I think this would be a great gift. I think this would be a great gift, a matter of fact, now that I think about it, um, for someone I need to buy for, but just beautiful. I mean, the stones are gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> I've probably said those words a million times, I know. I get so excited about stuff like this. Okay, and then I think we are down to my boots. I'll be right back. Okay, here they are. I just got them, um, I think I got them um, a uh, day before yesterday. That night they delivered them. But um, they are the Stuart Weitzman Klinger, I believe. No, Kling. So my other ones are the Klinger with the chunkier, higher heel, and these are the Kling. And these have more of a kitten heel and um, have, you know, the pointy, you know, a smaller heel and not a chunky heel, more of a pointy heel. And this color is the red, it's called Scarlet Suede. Now I also love the bright red in the leather and I think there is, I could wear both of them. When I think about the bright red, I think of wearing them with sweatshirts and graphic tees and moto jackets. And not that I wouldn't wear this, but this is more of an adult, I don't know, a more mature version. And I think about wearing this more with jeans and I don't know, I just think this is a little bit dressier. So um, it just depends on which one you like more. And I am going to wear these today. So I'm gonna put these on and then I'll be right back with my outfit of the day. Be right back. Okay, so today I have on this blazer. You guys probably remember when I bought it from um, Banana Republic a while ago. And then this little t-shirt is from Aritzia. It's their little basic white t-shirt. Uh, my jeans are, you know, my all-time favorite. Uh, Corey from Citizens of Humanity. And then I have really, really, really enjoyed this belt. If you have been on the fence about this belt, just get it. You will not regret it. It's, I love it. It goes with everything and it takes everything up a different level. It's just amazing. And then the shoes, okay, I put them on with my pants um, cuffed and then here on my pants all the way down, just depending on how you would like them. And I love them. You will never go wrong with a pair of Stuart Weitzman boots. When you put them on, it's just like they were made for you. And um, then the bag I'm carrying is my Gucci 
this bag is amazing. It really is. So all of it together creates just a nice, you know, comfortable, casual outfit. Good for Christmas shopping and all that stuff. And what I usually do is carry the chain like that. And I sometimes I button it or I snap it. Um, where is it? Like that. But a lot of times I just leave it open because it, you know, doesn't come like all the way open. Um, so here it is, and I love these. I hope you can see. I have to wait till I edit to see how good you can see everything. And um, so that's it. Okay, so I just realized I put the light over my table on like I always do, and it's only got this has five, one, two, three, four, five, six you know, bulbs typically, but we took some out to use. What did we take those bulbs out in? Oh, we used it in my chandelier that we have in the, I believe so, that we took them out to use over there in the bedroom. So I've only got two bulbs left. <laughs> so if my lighting is off, that's why. And um, I've got that on back there now. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, I will be back. I've been thinking of more gifts. I've got a, an unboxing that I want to do with you guys that I've been holding out, waiting to unbox. I'll go ahead and tell you it's Gucci. I've got two boxes I want to open with you. And um, I might do that probably Sunday. Um, my nail polish is the same. It's that Royal Red by... Oh, it's one of those gel. Perfect match. And I think that's it. So have a great weekend, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.